Hey guys, it's Jerry with SkyTech Lasers, and today we're going to be comparing a few visual fault locators. Um, right here we have our 50 milliwatt elite visual fault locator. Right here is our 20 milliwatt elite visual fault locator. And then these two guys are VFLs that we found online, pretty popular ones you'll see around the internet. This one right here is rated at 5 milliwatts, and this one right here is a 1 milliwatt rated VFL. So what we're going to do today is kind of just test the power of each one, uh, both through the optical cable and then also um, without the optical cable attached, and just see how the results compare. So check it out. These batteries aren't exactly fresh, so we'll see how the power works. First up, no optical cable. So yeah, as you can see, the power output is climbing up pretty quickly and slowing down around 137 milliwatts. So yeah, 137 milliwatts max. Let's reset that real fast. So now that we've tested the general output of the VFL, we've attached the optical cable to the VFL. So let's see how the power output does through the optical cable. So we'll turn it on here, hold it up to the power meter. And yeah, as you guys can see, the power is climbing and topping out around 29 to 30 milliwatts, 30 milliwatts max. So yeah, that's kind of to be expected though when you, when you put that through the, the curves and contours of the optical cable. The out, general output is going to be a little bit reduced, but you know, rest assured, 50 milliwatts should be plenty of power to be able to identify faults in super long optical cables. So we'll reset the power meter right there. And let's check out the one milliwatt uh, VFL next, see how it does. I'm gonna use the same batteries for, for both of them. All right, so like I said, we're gonna first test the power output with no optical cable attached. So as you can see, this one's rated at one milliwatt and it pretty much topped out already at four milliwatts output. So yeah, nowhere near the same power, um, but depending upon your needs, sure, it could, it could suffice. So let's reset the power meter here. We'll attach the optical cable, turn this on again, and take another reading. So yeah, pretty quickly topping out there at about four milliwatts through the cable, five milliwatts. Yeah, so as you can see, you, just, you can move around the cable a little bit and get different output. So like I said, it's pretty sensitive, but yeah, like, to, like I said, depending upon your uses, this could be okay, but it's nowhere near, it won't cover anywhere near the same distance as our Elite VFL will. So, I'm gonna reset the power meter. And next up, we have this guy. This is apparently a five milliwatt. So we've got the laser B reset. We're gonna turn this guy on and see how it stacks up. As you see, it's, it's climbing pretty quickly um, for a five milliwatt rated VFL. This is, it's like weighing in at almost 60 milliwatts output with no optical cable. So that's kind of surprising. Alrighty, now we're gonna test uh, the power output through the optical cable. So yeah, as you can see there, it looks like it's topping out at about 7.3, 7.4 uh, milliwatts when you actually attach the optical cable to it. Last but not least, we're gonna do a test on our 20 milliwatt Elite Visual Fault Locator. Again, first test is gonna be done without the optical cable attached. So let's see how it stacks up.
Yep. Climb pretty quickly to about 61.3 milliwatts output with no optical cable attached. So it's pretty solid. So yeah, as you can see, it kind of topped out at about 14 milliwatts there. Um, but again, notice how when you touch the cable, you know the, the, the output is going to drastically change. It's going to fluctuate pretty quickly just simply by moving this cable around. So yeah, there you have it. So yeah, there you guys have it. We did the uh, comparison between our Elite 50 milliwatt here. Uh, personally, my favorite and probably the most powerful you'll find out there. Um, we took a look at our 20 milliwatt Elite, which is a really great option if you kind of want something a little bit smaller um, in pen style. Um, just check out the size comparison of those two. And we also took a look here at this 5 milliwatt um, VFL that you'll find online. <clears throat> it did all right. And then finally, this pretty cumbersome 1 milliwatt uh, VFL. So. Yeah, that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for further videos we'll be checking out some more vfls and doing some more uh, little quick videos featuring our products as well so yeah stay tuned and be on the lookout for those in the meantime if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us um, yeah we'll talk to you guys soon